Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here for Raptor's Game and Goodies. Hey, if you love Gold Rush, if you love gold and getting rich, well, look no further. The Dino Miner box is here. A truckload of goodies is coming your way. T-shirts and equipment, much more in that Dino Miner box. Check it out down below in the description to get all sorts of different equipment to mine gold in your backyard. Yes, the Dino Miner box. You can drill, you can dig, and you can learn a lot more about gold. All that heavy equipment inside that box is waiting for you. So check it out with that Dino Miner box. Check down below in the description and much more coming soon. Oh my God, get rich quick, baby. Yeah, go digging in your own backyard. Have fun. So I'm guessing you're here because you want to be a gold miner and get rich. Well, me too. Hello again, friends and fans. Welcome back to Gold Rush. Good to have you here. We're doing a basic tier one setup here today, starting from scratch. So if you want to see more of this content, if you love Gold Rush, if you love money, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to show you everything you need here, mine and tool wise, in order to get started with getting some gold here in Gold Rush. And again, check that advertisement link out if you want to see... Uh, some stuff in real life some real life gold mining stuff is going to be super cool so if you're interested again click those links and everything i hope you guys really enjoy that not only can you get uh, stuff in real life to go mining with and find some actual gold flakes but there's also some heavy equipment that comes with it such as this big old front loader dump truck all sorts of different stuff that are available in there as well Ooh, as, as well stuff to go find gold without having to use the drill that'd be useful i guess uh, in a large site like this but we're going back to the uh, tier one back to the beginning back to the basics so let's hop into our pickup truck oh good we're here already again magically welcome all right everyone if you're liking this again get her up to a thousand likes and welcome to our new subscribers too it is time to get started to show you everything you need to know here in gold rush this is all of the stuff you'll need for a basic setup in my opinion at least at this time with the current build of the game these are the perfect items that are required to get started and it might be a little on the spendy side and you might not need the magnetite separator but it definitely helps so let's get started uh, of course we're gonna now start by digging in this giant pit here off to my left and we're gonna go ahead and set everything up that we need to uh, start mining so let's get her done we're gonna bring everything over one by one uh, including the area where we're going to be putting the dirt and the two sluice lines that are uh, the boxes that the water will flow through one and two and we'll set it up on top Everything is going real according to plan so far. Let's grab this. There we go. All right. That's going to be our second thing in place. So this is our extension box. So with these two, we can then set the box on top, and the water should flow this way. So it should flow back down towards the river. And uh, don't mind that pump over there or any, any of the other large equipment. That's for our Tier 3. This stuff here is exactly what you need to get started. So with that set up, let's go ahead and get some water flow in here. We got ourselves the basic pump. And uh, we can set that up somewhere near the river, right about here, the uh, little creek. I guess you'd call that maybe maybe like a pond. No, it actually is flowing water. So, hi there, tree. I bumped into you. Didn't expect you. What are you doing here in the woods, tree? All right, let's go ahead and grab our next thing, which is going to be the uh, hoses. We're going to go ahead and grab the fat hose that has to be extended into the water uh, in order to pump up the water from the uh, river into the pump. So we're going to go ahead and grab this end of the hose and drop her into the water. But we need something very important in order to go on to the end of it. If we don't put on the filter, it will uh, it will not pump. It will get uh, sticks and leaves and dirt and all sorts of things in there and clog up the pump. So we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves the filter, which kind of looks like um, it looks like one of those. Uh, Oh, it basically looks like an oil filter with a, a metal uh, container around it. You can see it right there. It looks like it's got a lot of holes in it to let the water through. So I wonder how much money we're going to make here today. This game is fantastic, by the way, and there is DLC coming out very soon here on January 18th. So it's going to be big, 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 big. So if you love the small stuff like I do, the big stuff's going to be even bigger and even better. All right, that's everything we need here. Come on now, filter. You're, you're making a fool of me. You're making a fool of me, filter. Oh, it's being real tough. Here we go. Let's ex let's get our uh, HUD up. That might help. All right. Perfect. Okay. Everything is going to be dropped into the water now, and that should pull up from there. I just didn't want to get any kinks in the hose. Okay. So we are connected to the water. That is confirmed. So let's bring over the hoses that we'll need. This small hose here can go from the uh, pump itself over to the uh, over to the um, uh, the hog pump. And I think what we can do here is use a splitter instead. And here's my idea. So we're going to pump from the large hose into the uh, into the pump. And then I'm going to use a splitter that we can connect our other two hoses here, which this is used for. This splitter here uh, connects with a large pipe to the back and then can split off into two different directions, which is perfect for our magnetite separator 
and for our uh, pump as well. So let's get this uh, angled over this way. I think we can do it right here. Perfect. And we'll get this thing connected up next. Uh, I think it should go around the other side. And we'll snake it around just behind it. There we go. Perfect. All right, looking good so far. We'll get those two hoses connected up. A little bit of back and forth, but just keep tally of everything you see here. You're going to need another garden hose. Small hose, I guess, in this case. And we're also going to grab ourselves the generator. We're just going to bring over all of our equipment now. Generator needs to be set up for the magnetite separator. So we'll set that over here. And there should be good. Perfect. All right, we got all of our equipment in very good order. And the next thing is the magnetite separator itself. Very good. And we'll set that maybe over here. And we should be able to work in a very tidy area before we start digging. We can dig this entire area out by shovel. That is going to be insane. Do you see how early in the morning we started? It's just 6 o'clock now. Just 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm not even awake around this time, I'll be honest. Okay, let's grab our, uh, let's see, fuel. And we need... Uh, what else? Our mats as well. We need to put our miners' mats down, so that way the gold can be captured. So that is going to be that fuel there, going to be needed in the generator and also the water pump. Both of those take fuel. So let's go ahead and set under there the two buckets. And you can never have enough buckets, too. You might want to have more than one, uh, or rather more than two. One extra is always good. Okay, and then this is where we're going to get our gold over here. So we can leave this over here away from the site. We'll kind of leave this as a separate area, so that way we can separate everything nicely. So we'll keep the uh, bucket over here. You need this bucket for sure, this basin, and the buckets will come over here. So we'll leave our little, uh, whoa, whoa, careful. Oh, right, one in the bullseye right there. Down below in that comment section, type bullseye, and I will love your comment. Thank you, everyone, for all your support. It's so good to have you here. Let's go ahead and throw these mats in here, number one. And we are going to need two more mats, three more mats, actually. And then we can start our gold mining. So as you see in the upper right corner, we've already got almost 60 ounces of gold from our large operation. And our small operation is no joke either. It can definitely help with hiring workers too. So if you have tier 3 stuff already set up and you only have a little bit of extra cash, you can always buy tier 1 stuff and put a worker on it. And it'll bring in extra gold throughout the day, which you can then exchange at the blacksmith for cash. At the, well, send it there and then go over to the bank. All right, everything's pretty much ready to set up now. Aside from the hoses, this is pretty much looking good. All right, let's go ahead and have a hose go over this way. There we go. And we'll connect it up to the back of the magnetite separator. Oh, I guess the other side. There we go. And we're going to hook the uh, power cord up to that as well. Very dangerous here. A lot of water, a lot of electricity, a lot of bad times if we, if we uh, mix the two, I guess. All right, let's run this extension cord between here. Over to the other side of the magnetite separator. Boom. And then our final garden hose from the back of the uh, pump over here. To the splitter, I should say. Over to the pump. Perfect. If you don't have the pump, you will have to do it manually by hand, which is a big pain. Now, we need to give everything some fuel. So again, ignore that other pump over there. That one's going to the tent for the other stuff that we're working on. But we're going to need some fuel there. And faster than ever, she fills up. A nice update by the devs to make things fill up faster. Jump over to our uh, water pump now. That was our generator. This is the water pump. Good. We got about a half tank left now. And that should be everything we need to get started. All right. One thing a lot of people need to know about is uh, when you're pulling out your shovel, that will be your bracket keys, the period, or the comma key. So that's how you get your, uh, your shovel out there. And uh, basically, you're just going to want to scoop. Uh, one scoop at a time into this bad boy and get her started. So as soon as we are full, let's begin our gold mining. Oh, man, this is awesome. So, yes, in that box, you'll get some tools yourself in order to do actual real-life gold mining. So if you uh, want to dig, if you want to uh, go uh, panning as well, definitely you can do that here. Oh, man, this is exciting. All right, I wonder how much gold we're going to get out of this. And you'd think to yourself, well, this is boring. Oh, really? It's actually a lot of fun to do this. Just like Farming Sim is fun, just like Euro Truck is fun. It's nice to make some money, or at least make some gold, at the uh, end of a hard day. All right. That's almost looking full. Just a few more scoops, and we should have it, folks. Uh, let's see. It's at 67%, 78%. Okay, we're almost there. So 78%. Wow, look, look at how cool this stuff looks. It's really even better without the HUD on. If you want to just eye everything up and see what it's like to do it in real life, that's just so cool. Just to, just to be able to just look at it. Very nice. 
F10 to make that disappear. All right, everything's full. Apparently, we're losing pay dirt, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up the uh, let's fire up the pump here and the uh, generator. Actually, we don't have to turn on the generator yet. Uh, we'll do that as soon as we've got everything full. So we want to turn on the other pump, this one here. And uh, let's see where our cord is. There we go. All right, water's flowing. Look at that, folks. That is awesome. All right, you can see little gold pieces in there. Yep. Definitely going to make some money from that. All right, let's keep shoveling. All right. So this is what we're doing all day until those mats are full. And then i got to start taking some bets on how much money you think we're going to make from those mats. How much gold do you think is in there? We're at almost 60 ounces now. Let's just say we're at 60. So how much do you think we're going to make? I'm going to be optimistic and say we're going to make 25 ounces of gold. Boom. Right there, baby. That's confidence. All right. Let's keep on uh, shoveling away. This is a very efficient way to mine, too, by the way, as you're not leaving, uh, you're not leaving the uh, box empty for too long. When you do Tier 3 mining, you have to come back and forth with the dump truck, and sometimes it's more important to uh, turn off the uh, mine site in the meantime. All right, there we go. Boy, we could really use a front loader about now, huh? That'd be nice. But you can definitely do that with the Tier 2 equipment. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, man, you know what would be cool if you could customize equipment in this game? Put, make your own company logo, that kind of thing? That'd be awesome. That's something I'd be down with. Own company logo, company name. Maybe paint your equipment. Make it look brand new if you want to. That'd look cool. Okay, let's see how full we are so far. Hey, 55%. We're halfway there, everybody. Now, as soon as these are full, it's going to take us a few times to uh, put them into the buckets as well. I'll have to run down and grab another bucket as well. Should be some buckets around here somewhere. There we go. I don't even think we have to move if we don't want to. Wow, the, the, the fact that this game starts you out with a shovel is amazing. If you've ever played Minecraft, it's the same thing. Digging for gold with a shovel. We've all been there. Alright, we're at 68%. All right, almost, almost to a fourth of the way there, or uh, a fourth of the way left. There we go, 75%. Now, I'm sure in this uh, game as well, in this section, that I'm, I guarantee you that there's probably more gold somewhere over here than there is over there or something like that. Like, I'm sure the, the gold, uh, probably the density and, and depth changes just like it does on the main site. All right, we're at 83%. We're almost there. I'm going to stop her at about 92 Let's see what happens. Wow, it's like we're building a trench in World War II. I think that every time we do this... All right, let's stop here and just watch. See how full it gets. I don't want to overfill it too much. Looks like it can use some more. All right, let's put in three scoops there. All right, a little bit more. Wow, wash us through that rather quickly. All right, one more. There we go. Okay, we've done it. We are full. Let's go ahead and kill the power. Oop, not that one. We want to kill the power on this one. And I'm going to grab myself an extra bucket. And I think we got one down here in the tool shed somewhere. Hmm. Nope. All right. I'll run back up to the tent. Okay. So with this, we've got 100% mat full. All mats are full. So what we can do here is we can probably dip them a few times. And uh, I'm going to just borrow some from our tent from earlier. There we go. In a previous episode, I did some tier 3 mining as well, which was very, very exciting. Love that tier 3 mining. You never, you never know how big the hole is going to be once you get to tier 3. I think we can just walk down to the river over here. Let's just walk through some of our equipment. There we go. Wonderful. Love this basic stuff. It's just as fun to do this as it is the top tier stuff. It doesn't make as much gold, but it still is fun. All right, let's dip all of these uh, little mats into our uh, machine here, or into our uh, into our water. 
And then we can put them through the magnetite separator. I think you can only rinse these once. So let's give that a test. Come on, Matt. Oh, okay, just once, all right. Four has been taken care of. Let's do number three. Okay, that's done. Number two is next. And let's do number one. All right, that's looking pretty good. That dirt is uh, really looking nice in there. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to turn on our machine now, and we're going to dunk some of the uh, some of the stuff into there and see what happens. We're probably going to need more than one bucket. So, yeah, just, I guess, in purposes of switching tasks, let's just go ahead and flip on the pump and see what it looks like. Otherwise, we could just keep going, which is fine. All right, so let's do this. We're just supplying water now to the magnetite separator. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, 100% full there. All right, let's do it again. All right, one more time. Okay, that should be 100% gold in there. So now, again, we can keep going, but I'm going to see how much gold we got so far. Let's do a little test. So we're working directly next to our uh, pump here, and uh, so, I don't know, was this a good area or not? This is a good way to test whether or not it was actually going to be profitable in the end. So let's grab this little bucket here, and let's see what we can do. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, so now we're going to dump this into our pan. Now we could use the wave table to do it automatically, of course, but we're gonna we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Oh wow, we have more than one uh, attempt here. So let's see what happens here in Gold Rush. Let's see how much money we can make and dunker, baby. Come on now. Oh, I'm seeing some good nuggets in there. Mmm. Barbecue sauce. Somebody grab the barbecue sauce because I'm seeing some delicious golden nuggets. How are we looking? Still, oh my goodness, that's a lot of gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually way more than I thought we would get. That's that's a lot of gold. That's actually really, really a lot of gold. Wow, that's wonderful. Okay, it looks pretty clean to me. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, so what I understand is that we're supposed to kind of put some put some oomph and get them up here like this and then kind of have it fall back down it's not perfect but there you go kind of separated okay let's use our tool now oh my goodness that's going to be a lot of gold that is a ton of gold we're in a very good spot wow some of it's so big that we have to pick it up with the tweezers that's always a good sign when the tweezers gets out look at that Ooh, let's see if we can get up to 60 ounces I wonder if we can do it. Oh, man, we are totally going to get to 60 ounces. We can totally do this. And this is our, our first bucket full. So, again, in that uh, in that kit as well that we're selling, the uh, game and goodies, this kind of stuff comes with it as well. So I, I want to do this in real life and see how good I am at it. You have to have such an incredible steady hand to do this. I mean, think about that. You, you'd probably have to set this down on something in order to do this, truly. But if you were down by a river, imagine if someone come up behind you and scared you or something like that. You'd, you'd, you'd kill them. You'd be like, oh, my God, all my gold. You'd have to kill them. Look at that, 60. 60 ounces of gold, man. That is incredible. All right, let's dump all this off. Let's go for our second scoop now. We're going back for a second helping now. It's, it's like really good ice cream. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down with this one. All right, let's go with this. And let's see what we got in our second one. Dude, that was like an, an incredible, like, ounce. Was that like an ounce of gold? Al almost a full ounce? That's not bad. That is not bad, considering that uh, that was just one tier. Let's see how much gold we're getting out of this. Oh, wait, I, I see some more. 
Ooh, that's a lot of gold again. Let's keep cleaning her up, boys. Oh, man, that's that's really going to be a lot of money. Oh, man, that's going to buy a lot of chicken nuggets. All those golden nuggets. Oh, man, look at that. Ooh, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's tip this up here. This seems just to be the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it works a little differently in the game than it would real life, but let's grab some of our stragglers here. We won't leave any delicious nuggets behind. All right, there we go. We got some good ones there. It's always a good sign when the tweezers comes out. Oh, yeah. Every time. Perfect. Oh, squeeze bottle. Tweezers. We want more tweezers. Come on. Look, at some of that gold is really hidden in there. Grab that piece. Some more over here. Come on, you. I see you there. There you go. And I see some more right up here. There we go. Okay, let's tip her back. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot more in there. I think I see at least four more pieces. And I think I see one right there. Yep, I sure did. All right, let's take a look. Well, that looks like all the gold to me. Let's uh, give her one last little test. Uh, we'll just shake it off. Nope, that seems to be it. All right, let's dump it. Let's go back for more. So this was just... Whoa, careful now. Get out of here, you. This was just one bucket full after a couple of shovels. That's awesome. This definitely, definitely is very exciting. Oh, man. We get to do this one more time after this, too? Oh, I'm glad we just stopped where we were. Ooh, this is going to be our best haul. Oh, man. I really wish there was a small piece of equipment um, in order to test the small digging site. Now, that the drilling machine is perfect for the large claims. But it'd be nice on these tier ones if you could actually figure out where all the gold was uh, with some sort of a small piece of equipment or a detector or something like that. That would be really good. There is a ton of gold in here. There's just a ton of gold again. Look at that. That's incredible. Just tip it this way so we can see it all. Look at that, man. That's got to be a 10-piece with fries. Oh, man. I See, I'm always hungry when I play these games. I'm buying everyone nuggets right now. We're going to get so much money from this. Look at this. We're almost up to 61 ounces. It's like two ounces of gold just by digging, you know, by hand. That's incredible. That's really good. Now, of course, when you first do this as well, I think once you get to a couple of ounces, um, the game will just automatically give you a 40-ounce nugget. And it'll be like, oh, my God. But it'd be cool if that also happens at random as well throughout the game. Like, you just... Where's the bit? This is so much cooler, too, because... Once you get to tier three, you don't really see the gold anymore. It just, it basically just, you know, falls into your wave table and, you know, gold magically appears. But this is exciting because you actually get to see the gold head on. All right, let's go back for our last dip. Woo, that was a trick shot right there. There you go, bullseye. That's why I'm the best. All right, here we go. This is our last dip. All right, here we go. Ooh, careful. Oh, man. I'm already seeing some delicious golden nuggets, man. Dude, I, got, I really got to... I want to try panning in real life. I, I know there's museums and stuff, too, in the United States, especially of gold mining, where you can actually go to old gold mines and, like, uh, you know, you can actually, like, do some gold panning. It's very exciting. It just, it just seems like the coolest thing in the world to, like, find gold. And, again, I think people do it in their backyard all the time. All right, let's see how much we get. So we're all, oh my god, we're almost at yet another ounce of, oh, did you see that? He almost dro dropped that nugget out of there. What? That one glitched out or something. Yeah, at least we got credit for it. Look at that. that. That little nugget there keeps rolling around. It's like stuck on the, the squeeze bottle. Oh, there we go. Tweezers, good sign. Another good sign. Give me three in a row. Oh my god, yes. Go for the quadruple. Oh man, that's that's good news. Whenever that, whenever that uh, tweezers comes out, oh, I get excited. It's awesome. See, look at that. That little piece right there is, like, glitched out. Look at it. It keeps moving around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. Big money. Big money. Look at that, man. That was really easy work, too. So if you want to, you can put a worker onto this and make some more money that way. I think that last little piece right there is glitched out.
Okay, so that uh, piece of gold, by the way, that was glitched out. <laughs> Crashed the game. It was cursed. It was totally cursed. It got us good. So here's our uh, bucket from back before uh, before we started panning again. So you get the idea now uh, of bringing buckets over and putting it into the pan and going into the base. And tier one is definitely underestimated, I think. A lot of people just want to skip it to get to the heavy equipment. But this is where a lot of the fun is to be had. So today we've made over, now it dropped us back down, but it was like, what, three, four ounces of gold right there? I said 25, I was being ambitious, but you never know what you're gonna find in the game. So underneath this soil here somewhere is plenty of big nuggets, and I want more tools in the game in order to experiment on tier one and uh, have more dig sites such as this. It seems more like an archeological dig when you're doing it this way. That would actually be a very cool next game, wouldn't it? To dig up dinosaurs or something? Oh, <gasps> my ancestors, I know. So again, folks, if you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like button. Check out that gold mining kit as well if you're interested in the dino miner box. Go ahead and pick it up and uh, support the channel. Lots of cool stuff in there. I'm excited to get mine too. I bought one as well, so it's going to be a ton of fun, I think, and a nice thing to display as I'm a big fan of Gold Rush. Looking forward to future sequels, future tiers, big equipment. The Frankenstein DLC coming out on January 18th, so make sure you stick around for that one as well. I will see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a good one. And I will see you all very soon for some top tier gold mining. Have yourself a good one, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Anyway, I gotta go play PlayStation now. I got enough pl game in my playing. I gotta go play real games. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm too broke for PlayStation. Let's play Pong.